Hello everybody, welcome back to Rain and Pause. I am Mitch and today I am doing another part of my Take Two Redo series and today I am covering up this. <laughs> I say this because I don't know exactly what this is. I was attempting abstract art and yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be attempting that ever again. <laughs> so I did this about two years ago. It never saw the light of day and it's never going to again. So I'm going to cover it up with a brand new artwork. I'm going to be working on a black base today with a black cell activator. And these are the wonderful colors I'm going to be using. So I'm using one of the brand new released Piggy's Bloodstone. This gorgeous deep red brown color. It's amazing. I'm going to be using Burnt Sierra, another new release, which is this really lovely deep burnt orange. I have this little piggy Bellini from our last release, I believe it was. So it's like a champagne yellow. Lovely. I've got Ball Gown, which is Interference Gold, and I have Brulee, which is Interference Orange. Then I'm using my Amsterdam Lamp Black Cell Activator mixed with Australian Floetrol. So, the concept behind this, I want to cover this up and I'm going to be using a black pillow. Now, to execute what I want to do, I want to do swipes and I want to do several of them and I don't want to spin it. I want to tilt it off so that I get really nice elongated cells and I want to do several swipes all going the same direction so that when I tilt, I just have to tilt on an angle and to tilt all of the paint off. Now, this is going to be a challenge because I will be tilting on an angle, um, but... I think the result in my head is going to look really, really pretty. Um, so I do have my um, spinner set up with my barrier, just in case I do need to spin extra paint off. But the idea is I want to keep all of my cells roughly in shape. So something I'm going to do that I have been thinking about and I've just decided I'm going to do it is I'm cutting through the wall of my puppy pool. Now, the reason I wanted to do this was so that it's easier for me to set it up and pack it down, and also that I can apply the paint and then just close up the wall when I'm actually ready to pour. Um, because it does make pouring everything quite difficult <laughs> when you can't actually access it. Oh, there's actually bits of wood in here. Okay, interesting. Um, so, I've just done that. Ooh, things are still wet here. Oh no, okay. I've still got wet paint under here from last week. Um, so I'm pouring on the weekends now. So if you see my videos, I'm usually doing them on a Saturday because I am working full time. Oops, there goes my water bottle. All right, but I try and get in as much as I can. Okay. So I've just cut up my puppy pool and it is now much easier to work with. And because I, I don't think I'll need to spin today, I'm just gonna leave it open to the side. So here we have our canvas. I've got a brand new apron. I've already covered it in paint. <laughs> so let's get started. <coughs> First thing I want to do is to put down my pillow. Now I don't want to put down too much. One, because I'm doing swipes. Two, because I want to tilt a lot of this off. So uh, I think the best way to do so, and it's looking like my pillow may be actually a little bit thin. Let me just do an assessment. One, two, three. Okay, so it looks like I've got a pretty thin pillow. I can work with this and it may actually work in my favor. So first thing I want to do is I want to cover the entire canvas with paint so that I know that my cover up is going to be complete. And I do want kind of a super thin layer of pillow paint. Now, this is all of the black paint that I have. So, um, I will need to buy more if I want to attempt this again. So, I'm going to reserve a little bit just in case I need it. And to get started, I'm going to pop some bubbles, get rid of any nasties. And I'm going to tilt to even out my pillow. forget that everything's on a spinner so I can spin and tilt and do everything I need to to get the paint where I want it to go. And I'm going to use my finger 
to just spread everything to the edges. Um, by doing this, I should avoid having a hard line where the paint starts to dry and inevitably, inevitably it will because it is quite hot here. Um, and I'm just going to paint the edges of my canvas as well in case I don't get the paint off the sides as much as I'd like to. Um, and I can always paint them black afterwards. And I've just dropped paint on my foot. <sighs> Guess I shouldn't have showered so early today, huh? <laughs> That'll teach me and teach me for wearing open-toed shoes. So I should um, mention now that if you would like to buy any of the piggies I'm using in today's pour, you can get those at fluid-art.co. And if you would like to learn how to do the bloom technique or the swipe technique that I'm using, the recipe and everything, you can learn how to do that by taking the Shelly Art online e-course at shellyart.com.au. So I'm just gonna give this a quick spin not too much because I don't have the wall up, but that should even out the paint. And I don't have puppy, mad, puppy pad down on this end because it's all been ripped up by the wall, but that's okay. Alrighty, so we're ready to start. I'm going to use my big pedal swiper here. And the other one is the small Fluid Arco one. So these are both from Fluid Arco and I'm going to do various sized swipes. The way I'm going to do this is by applying the color and the cell activator to, actually I'm gonna apply the colors in lines and then the cell activator to the swipe tool. That's how I decided to do that the other day. All right, so first color I want to put down is bloodstone. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to pull a line of color on. And we're going to see if this idea is going to work. Then I would like to go, so I'm just going lightest to darkest, I think. Let's go Burnt Sierra. And I want to lay the colors sort of next to each other so that I see them all. Trying not to drip in areas where I don't want the paint to be. Putting less of some colors in some areas, more of some colors in others. Then let's do Bellini. Okay, then ball gown.
So just a very, very light coating of cell activator on the spatula. And then I'm also going to drizzle just a little bit of ball gown. So the areas that don't have color are going to at least have a bit of interference. So I'll spin this around and let's do this one first. So that's looking fantastic. Exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Streams of those beautiful colors mixed together. Very important to wipe your swipe tool clean between every swipe so that you're not contaminating it with your colors and pillow colors and just very lightly skimming the surface making sure not to dig into the paint underneath So the cell activator gets put down, but not a lot of paint gets picked back up. Now I did swipe that a little bit wonky. So we'll see what happens. I haven't lined them up exactly 100% perfectly. <laughs> it's very challenging to do so. But Ooh, that one's very pretty. Got lots of burnt Sierra in that one. Okay, so that's all the cell activator I need. So let's put this one away. This swipe down here could have been a little bit better. So I may actually just do another swipe and I'm going to do everything on the swipe tool itself. So I'm going to put down my colors in order, same as what I've done on the canvas, but I'm doing it backwards. So on my uh, spatula, I've put down the cell activator, I put down ball gown, brulee, bellini, and then bloodstone. And I'm just going to do another swipe. Here. And that's better. Okay. Now we tilt. So I'm going to start by tilting this way. My paint's already starting to dry. I'm going to tilt it back just to get the paint moving and flowing. And then I'm going to turn the table around because I can do that. <laughs> 
and we're going to tilt this way. So I'm tilting following the lines of paint that I've put down. Okay, so now I'm going to fold over the walls of my puppy pool and I'm going to give it a spin so I can get the paint out to the edges and hopefully keep the shape of those lines. So let's go, just gentle spins. And I'm focusing in particular in the corners and on this edge here because it didn't look like a lot of paint got there. And it is starting to fill out, which is awesome. I'm going to spin a little harder. And I'm just being conscious of warping those lines. I want to keep them nice and straight. Looking much better. And it doesn't look like there's too much paint left on there. So, here we go with our stripey design. I'm very happy with how this turned out. It's not perfectly straight, but very hard to make that happen when you're working with um, fluid paints. But I'm much happier with what's happening now. So, I'm going to put this aside to dry and we'll come back when it's all finished and see how it looks. These colors are very much inspired by Kathleen from Cos Creations. And Burnt Sierra is her signature color. So please check out her channel. She's the queen of swipes. And she's got some amazing, amazing artworks on there. All right, I'm going to pack up. And I will see you in the next video. If you like what I'm doing here, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.